Hello once again, Barmy Badger Army. Hey, Badger Army. <laughs> Welcome to the show, guys. Now, Nick, stop talking in a fake American accent, you madman. Sorry. Indeed, I hope everyone is well. Today, we're going to be talking about a really cool place in our local area called Hornchurch, which is one of my favorite little areas around the local town. What about you, Nick? It's just down the road from here, actually. It is indeed. Right, Hornchurch, Hornchurch is known, is it's probably best known for having the Queen's Theatre in it. This is true, the Queen's it's, Theatre, one of my favorite yeah. places to go in Hornchurch. We, uh, we, I remember we went there a few times when uh, I was growing up. We went to, I think, uh, I think we went to like, I think it was like a, it wasn't a pantomime, but it was a, okay. it was a play. Right. Um, I remember once we went to, once uh, many moons ago. We went to uh, see. Uh, um, there was a there was a big like button moon story happening. Yes, I remember that. Remember that? Yeah. Someone. Yeah. Someone stole button moon. Really? And a, yeah. And it was a bad. It was a bad guy who was actually quite scary. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, I remember that. Yes, so, I remember that. It's, it's strange that we went to see the same play because yeah. I went to see that as a child as well. I remember the Button Moon play. Yeah. Oh my goodness me, the memories are flooding back. It's such a brilliant play. And I think it was just so full of magic, you know, seeing them on the stage and stuff. It was brilliant. It was actually just like it, is on, just like oh, it was on the TV. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it was, it was kind of like so much like that because of course, um, because of course, but if if you've ever if you haven't seen Button Moon, oh go yeah, and look goodness me, yes, please it's, look up Button but yeah, Moon. It's uh, it's the the Spoon family, <laughs> and yeah, the, uh, the sort of like the the, uh, the the movement and everything like that is truly something to behold. Very indeed. much in its time, in many ways. Yes, you know, but, but it so still holds a certain charm. Yeah, you know? and I think it's um, and you know, when you consider that a lot of um, a lot of like cartoons and stuff over overly rely on computers nowadays. So yes, it's, it's very interesting to see how people Would how people did it. it. Yeah, and how people did it. You know, in the days when that sort of technology wasn't around. Indeed, what I want you guys to do then actually is watch a bit of Button Moon and then come back and comment and let us know what you think of it mm. because we loved it as children yes yeah you know and another great thing about um hornchurch was the Woolworths in hornchurch wasn't it was it? quite a big Woolworths. it was a big yeah. Woolworths. yeah so like when it was one of these stores where it didn't look that big on the outside but it went very far back now is sadly a pound land as we were discussing off now camera. That's what I call a fall from Christ. I know, tell me I about it. Pound land to... has some useful stuff that you can buy there, but still. Yeah, I know. I remember though when we were at Woolworths, it was like part of the monthly ritual with my family. You know, we didn't have much money it was a growing. Ritual, Christ. Ritual, yeah, yeah, not not a satanic ritual. But yeah, no, we had um, lots of really good stuff. Like every month, it would be that we would go shopping and I would get a toy, whether it's from Woolworths or Tesco's. Nine times out of the ten, I used to choose Woolworths. I used to go in there and get the sweets and the pick and mix. And I remember, I don't know if you remember these, Nick, it was synonymous with the 80s. Those sort of sweets you got in the um, packs that were like scary animals, like spiders and... And sort of things like, like the that. jelly sweets. Yeah, the really yeah. hyperactive, really e numbered coloured jelly sugar sweets. Co sugar covered jellies. Yeah, they were literally sugar coloured jellies that looked like spiders and things like that. And they were all translucent with all different colours. I remember the hyperactive materials. It was lovely, I tell you. It was absolutely gorgeous having those. But yeah, I remember packs and packs of those. And I also remember the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They were like Coins. huge. Yeah, they were like huge at the end of the 80s going yes. into the 90s. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I remember yeah. a, uh, I think, it, but yeah, I remember those being advertised on TV, actually. Really? What, the coins? Or yeah, the, the, coin, yeah. the coins and like the pack that you could keep them in. Yes, I, think, I, think I had a, the big I wall think mount. News, I think a newspaper was giving them, all, was giving like one away. Or like That's right, it was probably the sun, in. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you probably got a couple free and then you had to go into Woolworths and buy yeah. the rest. I remember because I had the first series. They, I think they did like two lots of them in the end. Yeah, 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 yeah and I had like the first series and I had the whole wall plaque. Had like all 20 of them or something. And they probably cost like a pound, maybe two yeah. pound a pack. I do remember them being advertised and I was a bit sick of the, the turtles by then because they were really? everywhere. Seriously, really? they, you could not get away with them. You no, know? you can't. You I mean, there was so much them. turtles merchandise. Yeah, there was a You could lot even buy a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pizza at the time. Didn't given, even... given that their favourite food was pizza, pizza that's hardly yes. surprising. It was horrible, I remember it. It was a shame because now I think if they did the in-brand licensing for that now, 
I think it'd be lovely, but back there it was horrible. I did try the TMNT um, ice cream and that was really nice. But yes, once again, absolutely chock full of e-numbers. But yes, indeed. I mean, I also remember, what did you remember, Nick, about the takeaways in the restaurants in Hornchurch? Do I'm you remember sure much about have, that? I'm not sure if we ever went to many really? of those. Really? Okay. The thing is, I mean, growing up in growing up in um, Romford, mm. it was uh, it was a little bit far. It was a little bit. Hornchurch was a bit far out for us. Okay. You know, okay. I get where you're coming do, from. It was something we'd do. We'd we'd kind of like do periodically. It was less than once a month that we really? went. Really? Okay. Yeah. You know, it's See, like if, was, it's yeah. like if my mum if my if it's like my mum needed to go shopping and she mm. needed to like. And you know she wanted to go. And the thing is, we're all, me and my sisters were quite young at the time, so yes. they had to drag us out. Whenever, yes, that's true. Um, whenever that, we okay. there. So yeah, so okay, so yeah, occasionally we would go to Hornchurch. Yes, I know what you're saying. So it was a bit further, whereas I lived nearer. Yeah. So it was the first port of call, and then Romford was afterwards. But yeah, I remember a restaurant called Euroswamis, which I believe is still open and we used to go there pretty much every Sunday afternoon for the buffet. They used to do a special buffet every Sunday. And it was like families and you could all eat and, and it was a really nice occasion with the family. I remember me, my mum and dad used to go every week. I'm pretty sure it was every week or every other week. It was something like that. But we used to go and have this massive Indian meal every Sunday. It was really lovely, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there was lots of different things. I, I even remember there being a game store in Hornchurch at one point. Whether or not it was actually a game branded place, I can't remember, but there's definitely somewhere there was a video game shop. And back then, that was actually quite rare, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so lots you know, of stuff. And obviously, game consoles were a bit harder to come by those they days. They were, and they were much more high, harder priced, I believe. Yeah, I know like the PlayStation 4s and the Xbox Ones are expensive now, but if you think of it in old money, when they were that much anyway, it's still quite bad. I mean, the games in the early 80s were like £50 a pop it anyway. Like that, wasn't it? Some yeah. of the games were more expensive than the games now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it just shows you. But yes, there was lots of cool stuff in Hornchurch. Really like the area. I mean, now it's quite bohemian. Have you been to Hornchurch lately? I was there last week. Okay. So if you look around Hornchurch now, it's full of, like, sort of really sort of cool uh, cafes. It's full of, like, tattoo places. Uh, there's loads of restaurants. Obviously, the Queen's Theatre's there. And there's lots of different things there would, that would bring you Sweet in there. Sweet shops. Sweet shops. Yes, there's an old-fashioned sweet shop. There's loads of cool stuff that would make you want to go there, I think. I really like Hornchurch. Yeah. There's a few bars and all sorts of different things there that are quite cool. Um, like I said, our main memories are definitely from the Woolworths and the uh, Queen's Theatre. I used to go to a lot of things there with my mum at the Queen's Theatre, so that was quite nice. Never really went to the bingo hall, but that uh, that recently shut down as well, didn't it, unfortunately? Yeah, sadly. There's now an audio, a Lidl or something. Yeah, it's one of those. I mean, my I I remember um, I went to sixth form college in Hornchurch. Okay, did you? So I remember, yeah. So uh, kind of like during between lessons, I'd like pop down to the town centre. Okay, and, uh, yes. Ah, one right, of my, I've got you. One of my favourite places to go was a was a music shop called. Okay. It was called Trumps. Oh right. Um, bit yeah. of an unfortunate name now. Yeah, there is a bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it was called Trump. But yeah, it was called Trumps. It had like loads of like I just liked going through the CDs. And stuff, really? You know? Oh, excellent! This yeah, it's was, a good music shop. So, is, yeah, uh, that was. So yeah, I really enjoyed going going there. And um, yes, I mean a good music shop is probably out. my version of a good comic shop. Yes. I really used to love browsing through the comic. When I was really big into comics, I used to love spending hours in my local comic shop. Like sort of rifling through all the really good comics, you know, getting the best deals and so, getting all the rare editions. I'm sure yeah, you would like that with music. But yeah, I liked I liked looking through looking through stuff and seeing and and seeing um, mm. and kind of like because they had and they also had like some um, CDs that you couldn't get in other yes, places. Yes, exactly. And I love that know. sort of thing. And you, you and the thing is, you could like take out the sleeve and you could like read through it. And oh yeah, it's and stuff brilliant, like isn't it? Yeah, I mean, so. that's, there's an art that misses that is missing from digital downloads now. Yeah. There's no something tangible you can touch. And this yeah. is why I think CDs and things like that are still in because people still like the physical yes. markets, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, people still like physical items, and I think that's why. Uh, physical games and CDs are still going, I think. Yeah, so I really enjoyed our chat about Hornchurch, Nick. Yes. What about you? Anything else you'd like to add? 
Um, yeah, I think, but yeah, I think we'll call it. Covered right, most of it, haven't we? Yeah. Going to college there, I think. Um, but yeah, I think Hornchurch is one of those places. It's a bit of an it's a bit of an unknown entity in a lot of places. For Indeed, a lot of people, yes. it's a stop on the district line. That's right. I mean, a it's, lot of people like the other week said, "Oh yeah, Romford," and talked about Romford loads. But I never really heard anyone mention about Hornchurch. So it's going to be interesting to see what people think about Hornchurch. I really love the area. It's got a lot of memories for me. Like I was saying, I used to get the 193 bus there, an old rickety hopper, even back then. It used to take ages even to just get into Hornchurch, so <laughs> it's always good fun. Well, let us know your memories of Hornchurch in the comments below, or if you've seen Button Moon, let us know what you thought of that show. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army. Ta-ta, Badger Army. See you later on, guys, and make sure you catch Nick Field on Phoenix FM tonight. From 8pm on phoenixfm.com. Bye, guys. See you later on. See you later, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.